Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comms, and this is going to be a short video about how to configure a Motorola MCS 2000 mobile radio to a field deployment configuration. Now, the MCS 2000 is just a uh, commercial radio, and these are available in the surplus market very inexpensively. They're uh, uh, capable of narrow band, and this particular one is a UHF model here. Now, in and of itself, this has got a forward-firing speaker, so this radio, which is the inclusion of a power cord and a microphone, could pretty much be rolled out and used as is right now in a field deployment configuration. But many of the radios that are available will have a control head such as this, and this does not incorporate a forward-firing speaker. This is a Model 2. The Model 3 incorporates a DTMF keypad on the control head itself. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to configure this particular radio here since I don't have a full one of these as a field deployable configuration that you can use for the Model 1, the Model 2, and the Model 3. As supplied from the factory, these are the accessories that come with the MCS 2000 mobile radio and the Model 2 configuration and the one-piece radio. And what you have is your trunnion and you have your two mounting screws. You have a speaker trunnion and two mounting screws for your external speaker. You have your accessory connector here which is a DB25 that's user configurable this right here is your interface between that DB25 connector and your external speaker you have a typical Motorola power plug which is a two-pole plug similar to a trailer plug that will help you there and also your hand microphone okay the first item we're gonna build is our power cord so take your factory power cord this is a, a Tesco 562-107, which is just a, a standard lighter plug with a 6-foot 12-gauge uh, wire adapter. You're going to want a 15-amp fuse, and you're going to want two red and two black power pole connectors. What you're going to do is, is you're going to cut off your Motorola power connector, and you're going to attach it to your lighter plug adapter. And when completed, you'll have something like this, where you have basically a power pole, cigarette lighter jumper. And the last step you'll do is, is since these are internally fused, is to ensure that the fuse inside is rated for 15 amps. Now we'll configure our accessory connector for the external speaker. So as we take this and hold it in our hand, you can see these little tabs here, and it just opens up. We press it forward. You can see the internal parts of our connector here. And you can see that this jumper right here on the left this is your speaker jumper and right now it's routed to the internal speaker between pins one and two so what we'll want to do is, is we just want to use our thumbnail and open the connector up we want to remove this and then we want to pin this out for pins one and three and we don't want to disturb the emergency jumper. We want to leave this emergency jumper in place. Let me close that up. Snap that back together. And we have our accessory connector ready for service. Now to support your speaker on top of the radio in this field deployment configuration you're going to take your radio trunnion and your speaker trunnion and you're going to tie these together and you can see that we have several holes that are on here already if you want to use two screws you certainly can just go ahead and index this and punch two holes into your radio trunnion and then go ahead and use two 832nd machine screws now what you can also do if you don't have a drill available is you can just simply use one and just run through your bracket put your nut on 
and tighten it up like that. Now you're going to get some limited side-to-side -side travel with something like this as it loosens up. So if you're more interested in having a more structurally sound package, go ahead and just take your drill and punch a couple holes in that trunnion index with these two right here. Now take, take your speaker mounting screws and just insert them one turn. Place these into your trunnion and then cinch these down on both sides. You just need to make it snug. This speaker lead has been shortened normally. There's like six to eight foot of cable. And if you don't want to cut it and shorten it, as this one's been shortened, what you can do is, is you can just bundle up those speaker leads on the back side of this right here or on the inside of it and use a wire tie to secure that. Okay, at this time, just go ahead and gather all of your, your sub-assemblies here. Take your radio, and this is a Model 1. It could be a Model 2 or a Model 3. Remember, a Model 2 and a Model 3 necessitate the use of an external speaker because they do not have the forward-firing speaker of the Model 1. Invert the radio. Insert your accessory connector. Turning it over. Take your trunnion and your speaker assembly. Simply slide those into the tracks on the side of the radio. Right here. Slide them forward. And insert your trunnion support screws. Tighten those up on both sides. Just like that. Move your speaker down. Make your speaker connections here. With the Molex plug. Take your power connection. Your power connection plugged in the back. Then take your microphone and your mic jack is on the very front just like that and as with any field deployable radio solution such as this right here you're gonna more often than not end up using a magnetic mount antenna on this particular model is UHF and that's a UHF antenna it's a mini UHF connection thread that on the back there plug this in boots up and you can see you got plenty of audio here you can see by moving the speaker forward on this that it rests right in there just fine and that's a that's a good spot it's not going to bounce out of there and it's easy to replace back in there another way you can configure this is just by using a microphone bracket and attaching that to the trunnion and moving your speaker over to accommodate that configuration. In a storage configuration there is enough space underneath here to slide your power cable and keep that stored. Attach the radio itself and then tucking your mic cable underneath here. You can see it does make for a nice compact package and this is everything right here. This is the antenna, the power cord, the microphone, the speaker and everything in one package. And two of these stations configured complete will fit into a five gallon paint bucket for storage or transport. Well, I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comps. Till next time.